Hello everybody, I am the LA-based street artist known as Wordsmith, but all my friends call me Brody. We are here at the Artemisia Foundation in Bisbee, Arizona, and several months ago, the founder, uh, Sloan, reached out to me about doing a piece here at the foundation, and as our conversations proceeded and I presented some mock-ups, uh, we ultimately agreed I would do three pieces, uh, which I painted over the last two days. Uh, the piece behind me is an 11-foot version of The Only Lie. Um, it's actually one of the most popular pieces that I ever have written and painted uh, in the streets. I've done a lot of commissions uh, for this piece. Uh, but the amazing thing is when I first wrote it, which was eight years ago, uh, and was putting it out in the streets, I didn't know if people would get it. It was a very personal um, statement for me. I have had a muse in my life and I wrote the words about her and I didn't know if people were going to get it. I didn't know if it was going to resonate with them because it was so personal to me. But the moment I put it out there in the streets, the moment I posted it online, the outpouring was staggering. Um, and, I, and I get it now. It's like you're either in this feeling you either want to be or you aspire to be in this feeling or at one point in time you were in this feeling so it's nostalgic. Um, and I love that about this piece and it was completely unexpected. So when I was a kid, uh, at first I wanted to be an astronaut uh, and then I wanted to be a fireman uh, and then I wanted to be a teacher, oddly enough. Um, but I was a comic book kid and I loved devouring comics. And I loved the art in the comics, but more so what I gravitated toward were the stories. And I was fascinated with how they were written. I also was started to read a lot uh, as a kid, and then I uh, fell in love with movies. But it was always from the writer's standpoint that I kind of looked at things. And so I forgot about the astronaut, I forgot about the fireman, I forgot about the teacher, and I just knew from a very young age that I wanted to be a writer. Uh, and I am a writer. I've, I've been a writer my whole life, and I've written in a lot of different mediums. The real interesting thing about my work is that all the words that you see above my typewriter resonate with something going on in my life. And that's how Wordsmith works. Um, so I'm pulling from things that happened last week. Uh, it could have happened a conversation that I had over dinner. It could be things that happened 10, 20 years ago, but I explore these things. I'm a very positive person, so my positive messages just come from things I wish people would have said to me when I started writing or when I moved to Los Angeles or when I started doing street art. I like to motivate people. I always tell people to dream bigger and aspire to inspire others. Um, but, but that's the secret to it, that all the words need to resonate with me, something in my life, uh, and then I put them out there. The amazing thing is that then they're, they've been resonating with so many people all over the world uh, when it's such personal thoughts to me, and I love that. It just kind of shows that we're all in the same boat, we're feeling the same things, we're striving for the same things um, in this crazy world. Uh, this is Wonder Woman is a State of Mind, and she is almost 10 feet tall. And it's uh, obviously a woman empowerment piece, uh, and that's important to me. And I wrote it about uh, six years ago, and I've painted it in a lot of different sizes and places. And this is uh, one of the largest uh, versions of it. So the stencil that I use in all my art pieces, I created myself, I designed it, but I pulled elements, favorite elements from classic typewriters, uh, like the return bar from the Corona and the ribbon from an Underwood. And I just took those elements and did this one dimensional design of the typewriter that has stayed the same over the 10 years. If anything, it's just become a little more simplified. Um, and obviously the sizes have changed. I started off doing very small pieces but as I gained more confidence and, and continued to you know, paint walls all over the world, um, I started doing larger and larger pieces. Uh, 
Uh, this is Marvin Gaye. Uh, the words come from a song of his, Mercy, Mercy Me. And I painted a different version of this originally for Earth Day 2020. Uh, but when I was talking with Sloan about uh, walls at the foundation, he showed me this one and he loved the original uh, Marvin Gaye piece that I did. So I designed a different version of it for this wall. And we decided to put it outside, obviously, because, it's, it, because it addresses climate change and just everything going on in the world. Thank you so much for watching and continue to follow Artemisia uh, for updates on when the foundation is opening. And if you want to follow me, I'm Wordsmith with no vowels, W-R-D-S-M-T-H.